This is CES M M A. This guy talked to a lot of featherweights in this area, even some lightweights who I won't mention by name, who all want to step in there against Saul Almeida. I don't know what it is about his style, but people want to fight him. Well, you, you know, Saul, Saul hasn't finished a bunch of fights. He right. wins decisions. But he's also the top of the food chain. And if you really want to be involved in this sport, you want the guys at the top of the food chain. So for, if for no other reason that he's the top dog right now, yeah, I bet you that's got a lot to do with it. All nice right. left hook to the body by Kata. Round number one underway here in this featherweight battle. One of the obvious candidates for fight of the night. Two 12 and two fighters, two of the top ranked featherweights in their uh, in the region rather, facing one another. And I, I gotta give credit to both fighters for taking this fight as well. Nice a lot of guys wouldn't take this fight. No, you're 100% right. Usually when they get two guys as evenly matched as this, they, they avoid each other for a little while. Not the case here. And again, congratulations, Pat, to Pat Sullivan for making this uh, match happen. Yeah, I was there ringside for Almeida's boxing debut. I was impressed with the way he let his hands fly. Did not know what He's to letting expect. him go pretty well yeah. tonight. You, you see, see the jab, you see his yeah. short right hand come behind it. And he is the taller fighter, so establishing the jab would be a, a good way to keep, uh, keep the distance. He's not a one-trick pony. I think he just plays to his own strengths. Uh, yeah, you know... Sellers, he's trained with a lot of high-end folks and stuff, and he knows what he's in there to do. And no one should He's 12 and 2. Don't question the way he's been fighting. Nice combination. One, two, one by Sowell. Kata pushing him off. Ten of those wins coming by unanimous decision for Almeida, like you said. Doesn't finish a lot of fights. Hasn't knocked anybody out in his career. But who knows what to expect? That real pain here on Direct TV pay-per-view. Expect the unexpected. We'll see how this one shakes Anything out. at any time with these four rounds closed, pal. Nice body shot by Cater and return by Saul. Saul shoots in, looks for the single. Cater's doing a pretty good job of fighting him off. Nice shot by Cater using the cage. Cater looks like either. he was. Yeah. Looks like Saul's got his back here. He's got his back standing, and this is where Almeida becomes so dangerous. Very dangerous, and this is where you're going to see Calvin. He's going to try to break the grip and sit and turn back into Saul Almeida. Nice job by Kaden in the exchange and the takedown attempt by Saul, and he was reversed in transition by Mr. Kaden. Saul working from a closed guard, controlling the head, so so we can't, so uh, Kata can't posture up and throw some strikes down. A nice job by Kata there. Certainly, if he had any nerves about Almeida trying to take him down, he deflects that in the first, <laughs> the very first attempt by Almeida. So good job there in the opening round. Two and a half to go. Soul's doing a very good job. Again, you can see him controlling the right arm. He has an overhook. It actually looks like he's either digging, I don't know if he's digging for a Kimura sweep here or not, but he was attacking the, the left arm of Calvin Cater. Cater's doing a good job of controlling the hips and keeping Soul flat on the mat. Saul does look like he's trying to work one hook on the inside, one butterfly. He does have a butterfly on the inside. Interestingly enough, it seems like Kater trying to give Almeida a taste of his own medicine here on the ground. Uh, it's good ground and pound, and, and Kater's doing a, a really good job of controlling those hips and, and not over committing to one thing or the other and getting reversed right here. At the same time, he's applying, applying pressure and good strikes. One and a half to go in this opening round. Two of the top ranked featherweights in the Northeast butting heads here at Real Pain, live at the Dunkin' Donuts Center. Nice short punches by, by Calvin Cater here, and so Lumita's having a hard time getting up off his back. He wants to either walk the fence or, or maybe try a, a sweep. It looks like he's been trying to attack that left arm of Cater's a couple times for the, for the sweep. Cater, again, smart enough to and pay attention enough to let that not happen. Good short right hands to the body. Calvin just softening him up there with those overhead Yeah, he is, but you see Saul right there. He has one hook in, one butterfly in, and he tried to sweep Calvin over. Calvin did a great job of maintaining it. You also see Saul looking like he's trying to grab that Kimura for the sweep. Saul slides one of his knees in, trying to create a little bit of space here while he attacks the left arm, and Cater did a nice job of defending it. He has 
A knee on the out, and we're back to our feet again. All right, this is where Calvin Cater likes to see the action. Standing up, we'll see if Almeida can respond. Try to throw a quick little kick. 18 seconds to go in round number one. Both fighters throwing their hands pretty well. Inside leg kick by Cater and a shot by Saul that was sprawled out well by Cater. Nice Kader. job again by Cater. Cater right back with the jab and that's the round. Strong opening round for Calvin Cater in this featherweight duel. Been waiting for this one for quite some time, not just for tonight, but for years actually. I, I, to the best of my knowledge, they've been trying to make this fight for 18 months, two years at yeah. the minimum. And really what the problem has been is fighting at different weight classes, not in the really, schedule. Right, it's not over. really on each other's radar until now. And credit to matchmaker Patrick Sullivan for making it happen. An exciting first round here in this featherweight battle. We have so much more in store as well, Scott. We're still gonna be witnessing the pro mixed martial arts debut of Dave Bautista later on tonight. Have you felt his power? Have you felt his power? No. No, he's felt yours. Trust me, you'll knock him out it's if you exchange with him. You hear Calvin Cater's corner yeah, saying, you, have, you felt his power, there's not much there. Well, you know, I, I guess, you know, he asked me, have you felt his power, and either Saul hasn't thrown it, or he feels that there is not a lot of power right there. He hasn't really thrown much. I think a lot of people do assume coming into the fight that Almeida lacks that power based on his record and based on the manner in which he wins fights. Well, you know, I mean, I think that's maybe why he started to, to take up boxing, was to, to get a little bit more power and speed and a better, better work with his hands. So to his credit, you know, trying to work on wherever he feels he's lacking a little bit. But Cater's corner and Cater himself feel like there was no, no issues, not worried about the hands. Well, we'll see how that goes. And it certainly wouldn't hurt Saul Almeida to win a boxing match by knockout and help his reputation <laughs> hit on the local scene. Those are two straight hands by Saul that missed. Cater's got good head movement right now and lighten his feet. So Saul switches after missing with the hands. He finds the distance with his kicks and then brings his hands behind it. Nice combinations there. A couple of nice overhand nice rights. Kick. Those two snuck in. Almeida trying to go to the body. Or rather, Cater. Cater's now switching to, to southpaw to defend that straight right. Nice, nice inside leg kick by both fighters, actually. Yeah, Almeida a little bit more active with the leg kicks in the second round. I think that Saul's trying to use those as range finders. Because no sooner does he strike with the leg makes contact and he's bringing his hands right behind it yeah mia looks pretty comfortable on his feet right now scott yeah he's definitely never looked uncomfortable on his feet you're 100 percent correct he, he's fine standing there it's just not how he finishes a fight right you know it they all tend to be i shouldn't say they all in general they tend to be on the ground via um via decision nice inside leg kick by katie that kind of puts all the meter off balance and the more that Saul uses his legs, it allows him to use his distance. He's the taller fighter, he's the longer fighter, so keeping Calvin Cater at range is, is what Saul wants done, keeping him outside his punching range. And Cater's gonna be careful because he has circled the cage a bit and doesn't leave you a lot of room to sprawl if Almeida shoots for a takedown. 100% right, correct. I, I, either, maybe he's just not worried about it. Maybe he feels like I'm fine with this. Now, Almeida certainly appears to be fine I with this I think the well. shot is coming I think you're gonna see Saul throw a couple punches and then go right into the clinch against the cage. We've seen so much of Almeida that we almost expect it at some point. Right. Nice job by Calvin Cater by backing up off the cage. Strangely Which enough strikes. though, yeah, Almeida appears comfortable exchanging. Nice exchange, both fighters. Appears to want to exchange with Calvin Cater as well. Maybe shed that misconception. Nice punches on, on, on the in and there, there it, is. it is. He was in so deep, so far against the cage like you had mentioned. That's how it just, <laughs> it's like dangling a piece of candy. He had to yeah. go after it. Not much Cater can do, but just put that left arm on the cage and just try to maybe push off. Well, what Cater's gonna do is he's, he's gonna try to, he's gonna try to stretch that leg out and not let it get pulled underneath. He's gonna hit those small elbows that are gonna force, as you see, force Saul Amina to give up the position he previously had. So you might see Calvin Cater stand right up as Saul doesn't turn into him. There you go now, he's looking for a wizard. Cater back to his feet, maybe not for long. Sol does a great job with those long arms. You see one behind his back, pinning the arm, the other in front of it. Nice short right upstairs too by Amina. Absolutely. And then he gets the takedown again. And then the switch and transition by Cater, the switch and transition by Sol. And here we are, both in the clinch again. Body shot, nice right to the body, right to the head by Calvin Cater. Cater's done a nice job defending these takedowns, Scott. This, this, look at these two guys working, they're both 
in transition, grabbing each other's back, transitioning to the other fighter's back, almost as quick as the first guy happens. It's, that's why this fight is, everybody's wanted to see it. Two 12 and two fighters, two guys the same skill set, two guys at the top of the mountain right now. And we start to get toward that part of the round, Scott, where it's tough to score, but with this much time left, you can do something to sway it one way or the other. Yeah, we still have enough time. You know, you have over a minute left in the round where somebody can make a decisive movement one way or the other and put their name on this round. Good inside in, outside leg kicks. Good use of the jab by Saul Lamina. He's really starting to work his distance better now. Nice short elbow by Calvin Pena. Big left and right combo though by Almeida, and now the leaping kick trying to catch him off guard. Almeida's doing a nice job letting his hands go. Now look at that, Calvin Pena, great job. Right uppercut to the head, right uppercut to the body. Saul it's his back with the one, two. The boys are really letting their hands go now. It's turned into a boxing match. It sure has. Here at real pain. And now Calvin Pena looks to shoot the single, and he gets the takedown. Saul almost reversed that in transition. It looks like Cater does have the position held up pretty well now in a close guard. How about Calvin Cater going for the takedown? We do have some blood somewhere. It's on Almeida's chest. I believe Cater might be cut here, I Scott. think he is cut. I think that came off a straight right hand as he came in. It looks to be a pretty good one because that blood's starting to pile up on Almeida. Now you can see where Cater has good hip control here. He's pinning Saul Almeida against the wall. And he's controlling Saul Almeida's arm while he was controlling his wrist to that point. 10 seconds to go in round number two. Another exciting round of the books in this featherweight battle. Saul Almeida, Calvin Cater. I, I actually have this, this two rounds to one for Calvin Cater. Excuse me, two rounds to none. Well, Cater making his way back to his corner. We'll see if we can see where that blood is coming from. It's kind of hard to see from this angle, obviously, with, from behind the cage, but Cater is definitely cut. Almeida, I believe, letting his hands fly in that second round and doing some damage there. I was really impressed with Almeida's hands in his stand-up game. You just don't get used to it, but you've seen it thus far. I think he did a good job using his range and using his reach at the end of the fight to keep Calvin Cater at bay. Ian, make him pay. Now, when he kept, when Cater decided to come in, he, he was able to get in to his credit, but he caught a couple shots, and that was because Saul was using his range very well. So much more action to go, not only in this bout, but on this undercard and of course today. The long-awaited main event with Dave Bautista making his mixed martial arts debut. He's Dave, of course. Today. Yeah, haven't you heard? No. He is the star of, well, the man with the iron fist, Universal Studios picture. That's what that As you comes see from. across the center of that canvas. In case you haven't heard, Bautista is in the building. We're going to see some more of him later on tonight. But right now, it's round number three in this featherweight battle. Saul Almeida in the black trunks. Calvin Cater in the black with the red. Saul's coming out with a nice combination and with a head kick. I nice think Saul story. realizes he's down. He's down a couple of rounds right now. May have to let his hands fly. Let everything fly. Still can't tell where that cut was coming from. Great Scott. shot by Saul. It looks like it's going to come down. Yeah, I, I couldn't see it either from the angle we had in the corner. Now, here, here's an interesting turn here. If Amita goes for the takedown, he's essentially going to submit him to win the fight, I think. It's not going to be enough to just win Unless this he round. does a 10-8 round, yeah. you know, unless he does enough damage. There is a new scoring system in, in, in MMA, which does allow for, you know, a freer usage of a 10-8 round. So Certainly I guess we'll see. Certainly to get a 10-8 mostly on the ground, though, I would say. I think you could if I yeah. kept you on the ground for the entire five minutes and continued to improve my position and let my hands go and was really letting some punches work. I, I think that's possible. I think that's very possible. All right. First minute here of this third and final round. Almeida trying to get into his comfort zone, if you will. Yeah, well, this is where he is the most comfortable. Like, now it looks like Saul has some blood coming from his nose. That would be the case. Maybe on one of those short exchanges right before they got the takedown. Yeah, the, those both guys let both their hands go to, to start the round. Actually been more stand-up action than I anticipated in this fight. Well, I think that's to both fighters' credit. You know, they want they both realize they're good on the ground. They both realize that maybe they negate each other on the ground and you need to feel each other out standing up. Just over three minutes to go. Almeida trying to exert his will. Solomon has done a good job of maintaining Calvin Cater's hips in position 
And it looks like Calvin is trying to look for the arm, trying to look for a way to escape from out from underneath Saul. He's, try, he's locking down that arm right now. You might see an arm bar come up. There it goes. There's that arm bar. Kane threw it right up. He isolated that arm. He needs to bring his heels to the ground. Drive his heels to the ground. He might have this. He's rolling Saul over. He's rolling Saul over. Calvin Cater needs to bring his heels to the, his, his own bottom, to the ground. Pinch them in, make his heels go to his own tush, and he might be able to finish this. We'll see if they can lock it in. Two and a half minutes to go. He's really got that arm contorted. Will Almeida tap? He's gonna drive, there, now he's driving his heels down. You see Saul Almeida's head kind of twitch a little bit. He's contorting that, 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 the side of, uh, the side of his head and getting more hip into this. He's definitely feeling it here, Scott. Two minutes to go. That's I a think lot the of time. only thing saving him from an armbar right now is the length of his arms. He might not be 100% locked in, elbow to the to the hip. Kind of how John Jones survived it. Calvin does have good control. He does have two on one. Both his hands on on the one arm. He's attacking. He does have his legs in perfect. In, in very good position. He's pushing the hips forward. That to, arm is definitely locked in, Scott. To be honest, I really don't know what's what's stopping uh, Saul so much. Maybe his thumbs in, a, in the opposite direction rather than facing, facing the, the position you need. Or possibly just a high pain threshold. 121 to go. He's starting to slide the elbow yeah. out. The elbow's slowly starting to it. escape. He readjusts. And I think he's on Calvin's readjusting him. that now. If he can get out now, of this. Now he's really arching his back for that. Almeida just trying to pound away at those legs. And maybe Saul's triple jointed as well, but he looks like he's real. And that elbow's about to pop out, Scott, I believe. I, I, I believe the elbow is no longer, the armbar's no longer a no, threat. Not a threat, and there it is. 50 seconds to go, Almeida gets out of it. Phenomenal job defending that armbar, phenomenal job. Now a chance for some ground and pound here in the closing seconds. Well, Saul just threw a couple punches with the arm, so it's working. <laughs> this is a very odd position you see here, almost. Cater trying to keep his head behind his back so he doesn't absorb those blows. I think you're gonna try to see Calvin Cater reverse this. Try to turn, try to turn Saul over if he can do it. 20 seconds left in the round. Both fighters bleeding from the nose here. Too little, it might be too little too late for Saul. Kane doing a good job defending himself right now. He's, he's maintaining that posture. And if he just holds on here, Scott, he may have the victory. Final 10 seconds. You see, Calvin's got a close guard. Now he's starting to bring his feet to his hips, and that's the round. And that's going to do it. Calvin Cater, Saul Almeida, a bloody battle between two of the top ranked featherweights in the Northeast. You see the exhaustion on the face of both competitors. What a great scene as they hug near the center of the canvas. A mutual respect for both, and I think they both expressed that before the fight. And of course, afterward, both fighters, of course, raising their arms. It's going to be interesting to see how this one goes on the scorecards. But this one was everything we thought it would be. Back and forth that time, we saw Almeida. Yeah, without a doubt, very, his very hands go at times as well. In the highly sports. contested, close fight. I actually have it. Uh, I'd, I'd be leaning towards Calvin Cato to tonight's fight. I agree. It's going to be interesting to see how it shakes out. We have seen some interesting decisions in the and past. And Saul Almeida's right arm is now two inches longer than his left. I can see that as well, too. Yeah, and a great job at the end by Almeida to hang on and then Fantastic get out of that. job defending that, that. Yeah. That I was doing, it was all I could do. I was tapping for Saul from here. <laughs> Unfortunately for Saul Almeida, he does not tap. We'll see if he is able to pull out the victory in the end. But Calvin Cato certainly more aggressive, asserting his will more so in those first two rounds. And I think at some times during this fight, Calvin Cater sort of played Almeida's strengths against him. I think Calvin Cater did some things that I didn't expect to see him do in this fight. I'd have may to have agree. worked to his favor. So let's see how it folds or unfolds, rather. Let's send it down to Bill Carpenter for the official score. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought five-minute rounds of action, let's go to the judges' scorecards for your decision. Judges Dave Ginsburg and Pat Avery both score it 30 to 27. Judge Mike Cordero has it 29 28. All three judges scoring for your winner by unanimous decision.
Kelvin, the Boston finisher, Cater.